as you make your way to the Princess Theatre to see the Harry Potter production, you start to notice a certain energy shift on the streets. There's a little bit of a frizzon in the air as you spot the odd cape, scarf. Some people are even in glasses with a wand. Harry Potter fever has totally taken over Melbourne. The two-part, five-hour theatrical spectacular is the eighth story in the Harry Potter series and the first to be presented on stage. After playing in New York and London, the production currently calls Melbourne's Princess Theatre home. Now look, just while we have the theatre all to ourselves, I thought it may help you to know that for the show they did an entire refit of this space, from the carpet right through to the wallpaper. Now, in regards to the seats, this is really personal, but I think the sweet spot is around row G. Try and choose an aisle if you want to be in the action. Down the front, it's kind of like a mosh pit, but they say that up above it gives you an overall perspective. But don't worry, no matter where you sit, everywhere will have you in the action. This right here is where the magic happens, quite literally. Do you get a buzz when you walk out here? And... Yeah. Yeah, well, there's 1,500 people usually here when we walk out and, uh, you know, probably some of the best lighting that any theatre in the world and is. And the sound. Is, and the sound, yeah. The, the, every part of the production is next level. It makes a lot of sense when you, when you see the show, when you understand that they needed the entire internal fit out. Yeah. But here on the stage, firstly, you would have to be so careful to not trip over things. Yeah, well, if you took a step back at one point in the show, you'll fall down that hole. Uh, <laughs> from about there, you'd have a shot of fire. Um, yeah, it's pretty much... You could pretty much die at any moment across this stage I, if you're I not careful. I don't want to give too much away, <laughs> but... but I mean, how does it all work? It's just magic no idea. from go to work. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, half the stuff I don't know and I don't want to know. Melbourne and Tom Wren scored the complex and at times surprisingly delicate role of Draco Malfoy. Is it wonderful to be the custodian of, of a character, an inner show that just resonates around the world and yeah. has such an incredible effect on people? Yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing privilege to have, you know, to have pack house, packed houses, yeah. you know, every single night and people who obviously come to see the show with such a prior knowledge and their experiences of the mm. books and the films and the like. And they're coming not really knowing what to expect from a, from a stage show. And the lovely thing is that I think <laughs> most everyone I've spoken to is sort of blown away by what they see, the, the theatrical version that they see here. The production is seamless, which is a credit not only to the actors themselves, but also the crew of talent working tirelessly behind the scenes. Would you like a, a bigger cloak? Sure, All right. I'd love that, <laughs> OK. <laughs> Do you ever come in and do some swishing yourself? I don't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, my gosh. It's really got some weight to it. Yeah, it does. If you hold it out, it's probably... It's, it's almost a full circle. Oh, isn't it fabulous? So, yes, it is. And so this hides a multitude of sins as well? It can hide sins, <laughs> but it can also hide perhaps what the performer might be wearing in the next scene. OK. If it's a faster change. The time and money spent transforming the Princess Theatre means that the show will remain exclusively in Melbourne. Fortunately, this wonderful city has a wealth of options for places to stay and to dine. And many are merely steps away. The nearby iconic Windsor Hotel have totally thrown themselves in on the act, dedicating a whole suite to wizards. Aloha Mora! This is too much fun. You've got the books, the DVDs, there's even a Harry Potter game to inspire you. All of the merchandise you see, it is for sale. You can buy it, except the gift basket, that's yours to keep. And the exclusive slippers, they're yours to take home. Oh, too much fun. Every corner of the wizard suite has been transformed to embrace the magic, and it really is the ultimate indulgence for diehard fans. However, all 180 of the hotel's rooms have a touch of old world charm. 
Being Melbourne, there's great cafes and restaurants on every corner. But just next door to the theatre is the European. You do sense a bit of a village atmosphere that's connected with the theatre. Oh, the the theatre brings phenomenal energy to the area. Harry Potter audiences can choose to see the show's two parts over consecutive days or on the same day with a lengthy dinner break in between. But it's fair to say that after witnessing part one, this crowd is absolutely buzzing. I think it's amazing and I'm not even really a Harry Potter fan and I'm just like blown away. I just came to bring you along and I'm like, this is amazing. Are you going to take me on? <laughs> <laughs> I was blown away. I was all like, oh, what? That's insane. Yeah. Above and beyond. Exactly above and beyond. Magical. Magical is the word. <laughs> Aloha Mora. Oh, my God.